Hi everybody, it's Heather for my Wednesday check-in. Forgive me if the camera rocks and rolls a little bit because I've got it propped up on my back deck where I thought maybe I would give you my Wednesday check-in from the outdoors because I think we've all been cooped up enough for the last two weeks or so. And in fact, I wanted to show you um, when we first bought this house, one of the things that it came with, the advertised features was a seasonal view of the Bedford Basin. And I just want to show you just right there, that little gray streak underneath that branch there is the Bedford Basin. And uh, we got to enjoy these seasonal views while they can, because as soon as the leaves come and fill in, which is going to be sooner than we know it, then I won't be able to see it at all. I think that sort of thing is a reminder to me that if we don't stop and enjoy things while they're here, they kind of tend to slip away. And one of the things we have right now, as a result of our kind of confinement on the indoors, and we can get all fixated on the confinement, but I think maybe it might be more helpful to try to get fixated more on maybe the time that we have to enjoy the things that we don't normally enjoy. Whether it's a walk outside that we don't have the time to take most of the time, or more to the point, we don't take the time to take most of the time. Maybe it's the first cup of coffee in the morning. Maybe you can sit there and smell the little luxury that this is, a, a kind of a miracle of something that came from halfway across the world to be in my cup this morning and give me a little bit of a boost to my day. I've been baking a little bit lately, trying not to bake too much because as somebody said, if you bake a, break, uh, a loaf of bread every day, you gotta eat a loaf of bread every day and that is not good. But I had a slice of homemade bread fresh out of the toaster with a bit of jam that came to us because someone was moving house and needed to get rid of what was in their cupboards. And I just really enjoyed the good tastes all mixing together. I've had an opportunity to spend more time with my family than sometimes I do because we're all kind of working from home or hanging around home waiting for the next thing to happen. Um, sometimes people can get on your nerves when you're in too close quarters, but I'm trying to look at it as an opportunity to connect in a way I might not always. Maybe that works for you too. All of this kind of idea is what the Buddhists and other faith traditions call mindfulness. The whole idea is being in the moment of what's happening right now. Rather than wishing it away, rather than, than, than thinking forward to what, you, what we, hasn't happened yet or thinking backwards to what used to be and isn't now. We can waste all of our lives not realizing that the only moment we have to live is right now. So we're about to enter a time in the church year. Next week is Holy Week. And we're going to be entering a time when even the disciples' lives were all interior and locked inside homes for fear of the Romans and what had happened to Jesus. But just now, just this week, before we go into that time, I'm going to suggest that maybe you enjoy a little pleasure like I'm enjoying right now, being on my back deck when it's not raining and not snowing and I'm not too cold to wear a sweater. And maybe now is, is a really good place to be. I pray for all of you and your nows that you may also find them good places to be. Talk to you soon. Heather out.